Hey you guys, it's me, Gemstone. I hope you're doing very well. This reading is for the Libras. And I'm going to be using the Voyager Tarot. Um, I did trim down my deck because I just really um, didn't care for these big borders that it kind of comes with. Um, I'm just saying that just in case like people like see the cards and think oh I want to get that deck and then they see that you know it doesn't look the same mine doesn't look like um, what they're seeing or if they get it without even looking at other images and wonder why mine looks different so Libra let's see what is showing up for you this coming week you have the chariot. Okay, with that, oops. Growth card, ten of wands. With that, regenerator, sage of cups. So, Libra. I feel like with the chariot card, you are pushing forward quickly and fast. I kind of feel like there is this fast movement that is going to be taking place with you this week. Some of you guys may be traveling. You may be going to a different environment you haven't been to before. Um, I don't feel like it's necessarily going to be a different country. But I kind of feel like maybe it's just a different area in terms of like the same country. But a different part of that country or something like that you could be traveling into. If you do go on any travel or trips or anything this week. Um, I feel like they can be really good for you. It could have a spiritual um, influence on you. And I also feel like um, it may be a lot for you. You may have to do a lot of planning, a lot of preparation, a lot of packing, all that kind of stuff. But then it's all going to be beneficial to um, your overall experience. And I think that you'll have a really good time. Um, especially if it's got to do with some kind of um, nature type of trip or something like this. Um, and I think that if that's the case, it's going to make you feel one again, whole again, all of that kind of stuff, all of them good things, um, that we feel when we, um, have done something slightly different. And also when we've been, we've given ourselves the opportunity to be out in nature and kind of be connected with just natural things and just breathe fresh air and the trees and all that kind of stuff. Another way of how these cards can be playing itself out is the chariots and you've been through a hard time Libra you have gone through a lot of difficult emotional experiences you may have been feeling like life is just like a roller coaster and your emotions are kind of up and down and all over the place but then it's kind of saying that all of this long journey of emotions and the whirlwind of experiences and all this other stuff is leading you in the right direction it's leading you to the place that you need to be but at the same time, it's a rocky road. It's been a rocky road up until this point. And it's probably going to continue to be a rocky road for quite some time. I'm saying that because the card that comes next to it is the growth card. Because it's saying that whatever ups and downs or emotional challenges you've been through. Or relationship challenges you've been through. Anything like that is, again, is, 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 is to... I'm saying again, like I told you this before. Um, <laughs> I said... I said something to um, I think it was Leo, but for you it's slightly different because I feel like most of your growth is happening like on the inside is emotional growth, emotional experiences. But then at the same time, some of you guys have been super busy and you just have a lot on your plate and you have a lot going on. But again, that's what's connected to your growth because it's going to make you more responsible. It's going to make you better at multitasking. It's going to make sure that by the time you go into 2018, you can turn around and be like, oh my gosh, I did so much in 2017. Like you, like I, I'm pretty certain that with Libras, when they look at their life by 2018, they're going to think like, like 2017 just went by in a blink because of the amount of stuff you did and got done and the thing that i love about the chariot card is it shows that you had the willpower and the know-how to be able to plow through the challenges and the difficulties and everything like you have succeeded even if you may not feel like you've succeeded because you still feel like you've got a whole bunch of stuff going on that you're probably trying to manage trying to sort out trying to process and all this kind of stuff it's saying that you have made such a way for yourself and you've come such a long way that it's like you should be proud of yourself you should be proud of 
all the things that you've accomplished, all the things that you've achieved and where you're heading towards, okay? And especially, um, chariot can also represent triumph as well. So this, this week you may be feeling triumphant in certain areas of your life and the projects and the things that you've been able to do and get done. And this, and what I feel is um, you're going to feel a sense of happiness as well. It's going to be a sense of happiness that brings about something, a feeling that um, may may not have been actually something that you've experienced in quite some time. Um, but I kind of feel like there's going to be this feeling of just um, a joy, but it's connected with all the things that you've accomplished. So um, I would say... If you've just been working your behind of, know that it's not been in vain and know that there's something that's going to happen this week where it's going to show you that, you know, what, it's been worth it. Like it didn't feel worth it at the time, <laughs> but it's something that's going to let you know. I feel like the universe is going to show you a sign that everything that you've been doing up until this point has been worth it. So, um, and if you're in a relationship and this reading was applied to a relationship, I feel like you and your partner are going to be very connected this week. And again, I think some of you guys have gone through relationship challenges and, um, and I just have a, I just sense that something is going to happen this week where it's like, it's going to put a smile on both of you guys' face. So peace and many blessings to you, Libra. I'll be seeing you. Bye.